All right, it's called virtual reality. You put these big bulky glasses or whatever they are. They look like binoculars to me. Um, but anyway, you put them on, and it's a whole new world. And Oculus Rift uh, shipment problems are indicating that there are some problems in that new world. Tech Insider, tech editor, a very, very smart guy, Ben Gilbert, who normally stops by just to re-educate me on what is hip and now and happening and make me look like the fool I am. So, Ben, very good to see you. <laughs> good to see you. I always felt that this thing reminded me of the 3D craze and that uh, get on board, it's going to be hot, hot, hot. And I love 3D. Sure. Uh, but it never did get hot. It might still. But now we have problems associated with these devices. What's going on? So the 3D craze was very much a fad and a lot of that technology became what is now virtual reality. When you put on these headsets you experience 3D without any of the the kind of silly nonsensical experience that you have when you go to see something like Avatar in a movie theater, right? And you put on a set of glasses right, right. and things pop out at you. When you put on one of these headsets, you're actually there and it gives you this experience so it's of all immersion. experiencing world, but some, wasn't one reporter Maybe he had the thing on too tight, but it left a scar. Or that was, yeah, me. Uh, it was you. Yeah, I had a oh, headset on while I was reviewing it, and it's because I was using it for a long period of well, time. Oh, this is you. Holy cow. It wasn't very comfortable. Uh, well, it, it did it, affect how you took this picture, though. Absolutely. Right? My, my wife took this picture of me, uh, and I asked her to for the review, right, because it is a problem. It's something that... Well, what happened? Did it, you just had on too tight? It's just been, it was just on for a while. It was just oh, wearing the headset for a wearing? long time. Maybe two hours, hour and a half, something like that. What do like they that. recommend? They don't necessarily recommend. It's up to you, right? Oh, they really? recommend you know some, take some some breaks. It's very, it's a like sensory say, overload, right? Don't get, don't do it too long. You get dizzy. Sure, right. exactly. And the, well, it's, you you seem to part with those. I think this could be another 3D fed. That there's something going on here. I think that there's something really going on here, and it's mostly because of the the difference in experience, right? When you use 3D, it comes across gimmicky, and that's right from the, yeah. the get go. Uh, whereas these you put look on these, silly to me. they look very silly when you're right? wearing them. Do you they're need very something silly. something that big and bulky? Can it be a little? So there's slightly smaller ones that your so your phone might work with, right? There's one from Google, there's one from Samsung. You slip your phone into a device, you put it on. Those are good, but they're not great. The thing that you can get from one of these bigger, bulkier headsets with a computer powering it is much higher resolution, much higher fidelity, and much more realistic experiences as a result. It really feels like you are on top of Mount Everest or underwater or wherever else. When in fact, you're nowhere near either. Right. Uh, ben Gilbert, thank you very, very much.